Hello everyone, Jesse here with Looking Glass Reviews. This is a different kind of video, I've never done one of these before. But I have here my very first custom made Funko Pop. Um, I've never bought a custom Funko Pop before. I don't know how they're viewed in the community. I don't know if it's like, oh, custom pops aren't worth as much or if, oh, custom pops are worth more because they're not mass produced. I don't know. I'm a really big Gambit fan. They haven't made a Gambit Funko Pop yet and it's been forever. Been waiting. I saw a really cool one online and I bought it and I'm about to open it in front of you guys. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's inside. A shout out to Frogman Customs because apparently Frogman made this pop. So if you like the pop, be sure to seek him out. It looks like there's a couple different parts here to the pop. So it might take a moment for me to get this figured out to show you guys. But let's just see here what we have right out of the package. And this is, whoa! Gotta pick those up. This is so cool. I gotta be careful. I don't know how. I don't know how fragile it's gonna be. But right out of the bat, we have Gambit jumping here. He's in the air. You see his feet, and that's totally Gambit from the X Men. And there's his little armor there. It's pretty cool. So, give me a moment here and I'll get this figured out. I'm not quite sure. Well, I guess if I get out the rest of the pieces. We also have this here. They have lights on them. Oh, there we go. So these have lights on them, and so these are Gambit's playing cards, and he's going to be throwing them, and see if the camera will focus. So Gambit is supposed to be up in the air throwing his playing cards. So that's the general idea here. Um, I'll shut these off. So let's see if we can pick up some of the detail. So this is uh, his kinetic energy flowing this pinkish purple here like it always does. And it looks like maybe this and his playing cards hook onto this part. This might need re glued a little bit because when I tried to push this part down onto here to get it to stay, it kind of loosened this part a little bit. It looks like it was just glued on there. 
it's still on there, but it also looks like this part was glued on there before it was sent, and this came off in the shipping, maybe, because I'm trying to figure out how this part goes on as well, and it's not really lining up. There's a part on Gambit here where it looks like this is supposed to fit in there. So here we have Gambit. And he's kind of up on this pole. Unless I have these switched, <laughs> I don't know how that wor works. I don't know if it's if uh, Gambit is supposed to be on the taller one and that's supposed to be on this one maybe I don't know um, I'm gonna look it up and look at the initial picture online see if it looks different so apparently I had it right and this piece does go on and hold him up um, So he does get held up by this piece here, but it came unglued. It was all wrapped pretty, it was wrapped in bubble wrap and stuff, so it wasn't wrapped bad or anything. But uh, he goes up here on this, and so this part here, it sits on this, and his cards here are supposed to go on this piece but it's a little wobbly and not really you know, it's cool and I like that somebody did this and that they painted it and took all this time but I do kind of feel like for the amount of money that I spent on it I wouldn't I would like to not feel like it's falling apart. Like this piece isn't really staying and this isn't connected. But if I can get these to stay like this where they are, then it's a pretty cool pop. And with the lights, And that's definitely Gambit. The paint job is nice. I love it. Um, just wish that it wasn't being so difficult. Um, it shouldn't give me too much more problems if I get a, if I were to get out a hot glue gun and glue it on there, then, and then I put it up and display it, which is what I want to do. Um, no one's really going to be messing with it so it's not like it I would hope that it wouldn't become a thing I could just put it up somewhere people don't mess with it and that's it it looks nice it's nice to look at um, but yeah I, there it's kind of staying like that staying on there but yeah um, all aside from uh, feeling like it's a model or having to keep it from falling apart or put it together um, it's really not too bad um, a couple glue spots here or there but the paint job's nice I like the detail I don't know how much you guys really got to see the detail but Now I have a daredevil pop that is kind of, he's in the air, he's kind of got something like this going. They might have used the daredevil pop and maybe like Dean's head from Supernatural or something because he's kind of got Deanish hair there. But it's pretty cool. 
So yeah, that's my first experience with a custom Funko Pop. Uh, if you guys order customs, let me know if you guys have had any experiences like this or better or worse when you order custom Funko Pops. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Like I know it's uh, someone's making this, so um, it's not going to be... I mean, probably not going to be like just buying one out of the box. It's probably, I figured it would be a little more fragile. Um, but yeah, let me know if, if this is normal, if this is, uh, ex should be expected, or like if this was a uncommon case, or what I should expect looking into, looking forward into custom made Funko Pops. I know it's loud it's going in there too because I'm not redoing that so yeah Gambit here he is thank you guys this has been Looking Glass Reviews